Bitcoin 150k this year. Is this even possible? You want to know everything about that in the last information in the crypto world? Then smash the like button. It's time for crypto news. Crypto to the mass with your host for the most. Rodrigo Arnedo. Today, we're going to tell you everything about Bitcoin's price action going down. Not good. But first things first, let me tell you that we have another channel called AI News. So probably you like it too. I tell you everything there about artificial intelligence. Also with AI News on X, Twitter, you know the last information. So do not miss that out. And right now back to the chart. Remember I told you in previous crypto news that we had the gap of the CME futures. We were going up. We were happy. But then uh, the homework is done. I told you as soon as Tuesday that could be an option and we nail it this time. But we are good to go according to our plans when Michael Van de Poppe comes and says, well, in the one hour chart, we still have a gap. We are not so happy with one hour charts for gaps. Remember, Everything beyond four hours is noise, in our opinion. But if this is true, we have to go all the way down to 60,570 in order to close the gap for good. But if this is true, we have another gap there. So maybe we need to go to 59,655. You think this is possible? Also, remember, we told you about this chart we are following for a long period of time right now that would bring us to 57,000 the 8th of July. So we'll see about that. Of course, dollar is the main character here and it's going down. So that would be good. But you can see how is things working out right now. Yesterday, uh, the stock market went up, so Bitcoin had a brief moment of peace, but it was following before and it followed after. So you can see that the stock market right now is kind of sustaining Bitcoin, but when we have no US market there, Bitcoin prices goes back. And we see the month, uh, the monthly candle is in the red right now. So we'll see how this ends. The market is still neutral, but probably soon enough will be in fear. And the good news come from Tom Lee. Remember, this guy usually makes widely accurate Bitcoin price predictions, and he still believes that 150K uh, is possible by end of 2024. We we'll listen to him. Bitcoin's probably suffering from the Mt. Gox, you know, starting distributions in July. That was a huge overhang for many years. But if I was investing in crypto, knowing that one of the biggest overhangs is going to disappear in July, I think it's a reason to actually expect a pretty sharp rebound in the second half. So I think, you know, 150 is still within. God, it's already July 1st. So that's that's so you we told you about how empty Gox fear uh, was a bad one, but in the long run was a good one because we are out of FTX, Terra, and all the disasters in the crypto sphere, and now also empty goes distributed. It would be, but right now we're still focusing on those addresses. And you can see one week ago was the last movement. So that money is still not in the market. And according to this guy, this is the main reason why we are going down. But again, an opportunity for the future to make a good money. Remember that Donald Trump boasts to be a Bitcoiner. And maybe he's going to be the president, uh, as we can see here in this map, that uh, states are becoming Republican. Any case, I was listening yesterday to No Agenda. You know I love this podcast. I recommend you to listen to it if you understand English. It's quite difficult if you don't, but maybe you can find some app in Spanish, something like that. And they were wondering why the debate between Donald Trump and Biden was a total disaster and what is behind the curtain, what they want uh, to happen. Really, actually, because uh, we see one reality, but what's the plan? Maybe the idea is that Donald Trump comes in and we have a different money system, like a reset. We have now the money back with gold again or maybe with Bitcoin. 
Also, Curry believes that maybe uh, Donald Trump is now all pro Bitcoin because he's going to create the uh, dollar, digital dollar. Uh, so he's kind of backing it, but it's not gonna real. Uh, it's not gonna be really Bitcoin, but some uh, digital dollar, something like that. Any case, we have Bitcoin in a month of uh, presidents of the United States. Also, Argentinian President Millet said that the nation that will no longer print money. Uh, we are going to zero issue in the states. What we aim for is that the broad monetary base does not vary. Inflation in Argentina uh, was 64% in the first four months 2024. Good to know also that uh, he's dissolving the Ministry of Women, Gender and Diversity, removing 85% of its employees. So we are not wasting more money on this kind of things. When we know that Bitcoin is now accepted in over 380 businesses in Costa Rica, maybe the next Bitcoin country after El Salvador, maybe even Argentina, Denmark confirmed they're not banning Bitcoin wallets. There was this rumor out there, but it seems it's just that, a rumor. And maybe this is true. Sony to launch a Bitcoin and crypto exchange in Japan after buying the Amber platform. We'll see about that. And maybe also a rumor or a reality, according to Lark Davis, maybe this guy, Dan Gallagher, will replace Gensler in a Trump administration in the SEC. This guy is more pro-Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. So that would be a good thing. And from Europe, Roaming Hood is about to launch futures uh, in US and Europe from Bitcoin and Ethereum. And you see also that European Bitcoin miner Nother Data is reportedly exploring a US IPO for its data center and AI cloud businesses seeking a 16 billion uh, valuation. So very, very good pieces of information. Also, you can see ETFs going up. So we have inflows in the market when we have this AI picture from Powell. Fed Chair Powell said inflation may get back to 2% late next year or the following year. So now you know what government and people that manage the world are doing, just being clowns and making fun. That's not a bad thing. Also, we love with Warren Buffett. Uh, he dismissed Bitcoin at $600 10 years ago. Since then, Bitcoin is up over 10,400% with an analyzed ROI of 60%. And what if, what if we have Bitcoin in $123,000 because of this pattern of the cap and handle? That could be it. We will be there around 2025, December. Remember, also maybe why if it's not $123,000, but 220 k the top for the next bull run that would be possible according to these previous highs uh, the Scalping Pro is selling us here in this street. And what about this month of July? Well, our friends on Dex Tools, they tweeted this. Did you know that historically when Bitcoin uh, is in a red June, July has turned green? You see also they're using AI. They are in the top apps out there for crypto. And it's true. You see here, June in the red and good two digits uh, for July. So maybe this time is going to be the same. Here I brought you the information with TradingView, link in the description below. And you can see that anytime uh, we had these red lines, then we had a green one. So maybe this time again. It's curious, in my opinion, that this didn't happen in the bull run that we are following, 16, 17. And it happened here in 2020. So maybe we are doing something similar to this. That would be awesome. Any case, I told you everything about the monthly, but this information I just told you in the previous videos. So if you uh, didn't watch it, just go right now and watch it. What if Bitcoin is playing out the same scenario as in 2023? Well, if that's so, you can see that right now we broke the one, two, three, one, two, three line. And we are for this red rectangle. And finally, at some point, we'll go higher. So I understand they are asking us for being patient once more. The market is like this and you like these guys, like, what's going on? We're going down, we're going flat, up and down. This is boring. 
as for altcoins too, this guy, El Crypto Proof, telling us that he knows market is really boring at the moment. But timing is not easy, but if you ask this guy, we will see a huge breakout from reaccumulation range for altcoins within the next five weeks. Take a look at 2016 and 2020, same scenario of accumulations, and then banana time. This will come eventually, hopefully. So, bubbles are in the red today. ENS was happy the last crypto news. Today is going down 13%. Remember this rebranding that we'll know at July. And remember that you will follow all of this with Dextrus.io. Of course, today they are giving you 10 key factors to boost your trading skills with Dex tools. So if you are having some uh, spare time out there, free time because of summer, I'm going to leave you the link in the description below. And you have there the 10 key aspects like project liquidity, supply in top holders, recent transactions, price charts and trends, token information, audit and security alerts, key numerical data, community activity and social media, alerts and notifications, and competitor analysis. All this and more that you have with Dextools.io. You have the link in the description below. Again, do not miss the opportunity. Consider that maybe the altcoin market is in this bull flag and will go crazy up soon enough. Also, for those of you asking me for some tokens, you can do that, some cryptocurrencies, like you asked for link. Well, Michael Van de Poppe believes that we are in this range for tiling, and maybe we are about off another leg up. In any case, I believe that tailing is one of the good ones. Remember, I'm not expert. This is not financial advice, but you can see here my chart. You have this line. Maybe we bounce in this line at some point in the future, but 26, 55, even 87 was our last analysis, and I still believe this is possible. We'll see about that. And in the fight between Solana and Ethereum, we'll consider this report from Lark Davis telling us that Solana meme coins outperform Ethereum meme coins by 8x year to date. So that's a good metric. Good for Solana, even though I still prefer, of course, Ethereum. That it's going down right now. The line of support still is there. We are watching it and we will tell you everything in next crypto show. And now I want to warn you. Yesterday I got a call from a guy accordingly, allegedly from Binance. He told me that my account was compromised. Some guy was using it from Nigeria and he was going to help me to secure my account. Of course, this was a scam, but I want you to know that the call was uh, from Valencia, so it's not from exchange country. And the guy was warm and was nice. He was like uh, trying to help me. So I might uh, have fallen into this. So again, consider that exchanges, they are not going to call you. They are not going to help you. They don't have the resources for doing that. So even though it seems allegedly uh, something that is true. It's a scam. Be careful out there. I blocked the number, of course, but be careful because uh, it was really a good job they did and I'm uh, concerned about your safety. And if you want to be a little more safe in the crypto sphere, remember Trezor Save 5. Now, the cold wallet that uh, we want to have in our hands, we are going to have one uh, in a couple of days. I will create a tutorial, of course, and they are shipping now. So uh, again, just buy one of them and I will uh, tell you everything about them with our unboxing and we are more safe with them. If you have some time this summer, why not reading the Bitcoin standard and then you understand why you are safer with Bitcoin than with fiat currencies. Remember that on findontheright.com, we have recommended books section among other sections where you can keep on learning. And there you have all the books that I recommend that I've written already. One of them, Bitcoin standard. Maybe the one we have to read and then leave to Bora Bora. Audio listen, eat for free with Audible. Link in the description below and you help us. Thank you very much. And maybe we have to go to Bora Bora and live there because while all this is happening in the world, 
in Spain, we have this uh, kind of passport in order to go to adult pages. And as we are funny people, we are creating uh, these memes about how the government is going to control the time we spend in pages like these ones. Uh, we are making fun with this uh, kind of X channels, Danny Sosa. I'm going to leave you the link in the description below. It's so funny. And also we have a song, the summer song for this crazy idea the government has where they want our freedom, our money, and now they also want us uh, to be controlled uh, when we get intimate with ourselves and when not. So this is myself, maybe in another country, soon enough, managing my $187 in crypto, because in Spain would be unbearable. But it's also in Australia, it's also in Canada. So when are we going to find a country that uh, just wants you to be free, maybe El Salvador, we'll see about that. And about our wealth, we have to go to coin tracking and track our portfolio, start today. So next year you have total control, link in the description below, 10% discount. I use this for tracking my portfolio. If you click on panel, uh, you have here a demo account. This guy was so smart. He bought Bitcoin. Now he has $44 million. Of course, this is a demo, but he has Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Littlecoin, Nail. So yeah, interesting stuff. How to track your portfolio, Dextools.io. And also this summer, use your cred credit card, your, sorry, your debit crypto card. Uh, Vibit and you have 15 euros if you use the link in the description below and then anytime you have a caipirinha or you have a banana split then you have some cash back with your Bybit credit sorry again debit uh, it's debit is not credit uh, card where I use for USDT as you know and now for this summertime some cats experiences the Marco Polo effect or the swimming pool with these crazy kids having fun and the cat trying to sleep for a little bit. Again, if you wanna keep up learning, remember AI news about artificial intelligence. If you want more about crypto, of course here. Crypto news, Rodrigo Arnido, fun on the ride, health, money, love, pouring peace, and the best is yet to come. To the moon!